Mirror B appeared. Oh, Mirror B, you have the worst timing. Bear it right back. Oh, or not. Now, oh, what's on through? I just to be with some butthead. Ugh. <laughs> like, uh, did I ever figure out? That was like the first season photo I had in too long, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh, <laughs> yeah. That's like great and all, but like, are we doing the right thing, like living this way or something? I worry about my future or something, you know? Has it seemed to consider, like, changing my hair or something? Like, you have boobs on your head. Huh, <laughs> cool. I was like, now what are you going on about, Polly? You're not your usual self. <laughs> yeah, I need some rest one. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't tell the boss's dream. I'm gonna own all the Pokemon in the whole world. world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm, like, talking about or something. Achoo, achoo. Oh, boss. Whoa, did I overhear you two talking about me? Oh, well, if it isn't that super ag aggravating little boy who served me up a bitter memory at the Pokespot. Whoa, -ho, what perfect timing. For a little exercise after my meal, I'll wipe you out with my elegant steps. Let the music play. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. We got some epic Mirror B stuff going on. Everybody likes Mirror B's music. I like Mirror B's music. You like Mirror B's music. Hillary does not seem interested in Mirror B's music, but she doesn't count. Everybody loves Near B's music. It's just that awesome. And I'm fangasming about it again. And we have some Lombres once more. So yes, this is Near B's not Coliseum team, I guess. He just has a bunch of Lombres, which makes sense. So we're just gonna go ahead and just do some attacks. And Jaws Nato is not the guy to fight this guy. We need a Stomago. Do, 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 in order to fight this guy. And apparently a lot of little, 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 little to fight this guy. Ah, oh, man. We're going over time. Ah, uh, future me might end up splitting this up into two episodes. So, not exactly sure where the split will happen, but it will happen somewhere. And we've probably already started the other episode. So... Hi, welcome to the other episode. I'm some random dude the fourth, and I'm continuing to commentary, even though this probably is a different episode, but I don't really care. Brain dance is a thing, and we want to use bite. Ba -ba bite. And then we want to use sludge on the lombre. Which lombre? It doesn't matter. They are both affected by it. Just kidding. Alright, lombre male is almost dead. Whereas he's gonna use water gun, and that's just lame. Lame. Meanwhile, oh wait, they're both male. I thought there were both. Fe I thought there was a female one in there. Well, no. I mean, I thought there was a male, or I thought there was a female like out on the field right now. Okay. Well, the lombre that was at full health is now dead. Not really sure how to differentiate them. And now he sends out, guess what, another Lombre, except this one's female. Alright, Lombre male is dead. I guess he wasn't the alpha male after all. And we have a nose pass. Random Pokemon is random. But hey guys, guess what? It's a shadow Pokemon. But we can't catch him because we don't have a snack machine. That's like twice now that they've done that. It's like, oh hey guys, look, shadow Pokemon. And you can see that they're shadow Pokemon. But you can't do anything about it, so have fun killing it. And it's just like, ugh. Game. Why must you tantalize me? with Pokemon that I can catch, or have the potential to catch, but not actually catch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the evolved form of Lumbre, Ludicolo. Everybody likes Mexican stereotypes, and that's basically what Ludicolo is. It's a walking, talking, platypus-looking Mexican stereotype. And we get to kill the nose pass. What? 
Funny. The sombrero adds to the Mexican stereotype. It was like, with a sombrero! No, just kidding. Uh, nose pass is not taking that much damage. Nose pass being a tank. Probo pass also being a tank, although Probo pass is not in this game. And Ludi Colo is almost dead. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, we have tried to win! Uh, I survived. <laughs> Barely. Barely. Are you mocking me? Mocking you? That's not how that's supposed to work. Uh, I do, but you're a dork. And you're being a butt. <laughs> you still like it. Huh? Oh, I wasn't. I was yawning, actually. Alright, Ludicolo has passed away. It's gone. Goodbye, Mr. Platypus Mexican stereotype. You will not be missed. More shadow waving, guys. Isn't this fun? I like this, said nobody ever. And Jolteon, the Usain Bolteon, is dead. He died, Eon. That's still my goal. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, yeah, we need Jaws NATO not only to level up, but also to kill this nose best. Alright, Jaws NATO. Of course, the rain stopped after Jaws NATO comes out. We need you to kill him with all due haste. Yeah, buddy. We killed the nose pass. And unfortunately, with the death of that nose pass, meaning that we can't catch it for now, also means that we have to stop listening to the sexy music. Ah, I shouldn't have done something about the strenuous rod after eating. There we go. Money for winning. Not that much money, but some money for winning. Oh, how dare you? I say, how dare you? Next time, I'll put things right and lay down my elegant steps. Let's go. Escape. Spot monitors are spawning. All right, but before we go to the spot monitor, let's go inside. Hey, we have news. We bring you a breaking news story. The cargo ship SS Libra was found on the desert north of Pinnock. Its baffling disappearance is believed to have been caused by Cypher. It is unclear as to how the ship was transported to the desert, however. Cypher's motives for taking the ship are also unknown. Unfortunately, there is no sign of the numerous Pokemon on board the ship. Concern is rising for their safety and welfare. I'm Hortal, and you may be Adam. I'm glad to see you. I was terrified that Cypher would find me and drag me away if I stayed much longer. You see, I fled from Cypher's key lair way in the north. Oh, you know that place? Wow, you people at OMBS sure get information quickly. The key lair is a factory. It was made to mass produce shadow Pokemon. When I discovered that, I was horrified. I came to hate my job, so I escaped. When I fled, I managed to spirit away just one Shadow Pokemon. But even then, there were already many Shadow Pokemon. I'm sure they have reduced even more since then. When I was a Cypher, there was rumors about a boy who snagged Shadow Pokemon in Purifies. Might that person be you? If so, I have a giant favor to ask you. Would you purify this Shadow Togepi I fled from Cypher with? Yes. Thank you so much. Please take good care of it. I wish I could say that, but your party is full. I can't pass this guy over to you. I'm sorry, but please make room in your party, then come back for it. Alright, let's talk to the guy at the bar. Is that right, my friend? So you're traveling by your lonesome. If you're gonna stay on the road, you should stock up on supplies. I got a selection of Pokeballs, too. For the longest time, Pokeballs are good for catching dust. They're selling again thanks to the wild Pokemon. Yeah, we can buy some stuff. We can buy all kinds of Pokeballs and sexy things. Uh, we want some more Poke Snacks. More Poke Snacks. Alright. Uh, we want more revives. Uh, 
timer. All right, so these are different kind of balls that you can have. Now you can buy Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls are super sexy with the highest normal percent rate catch out of any of the balls that you can buy. Net Balls work on water and bug type Pokemon. So if you feel that you need to get some of those, there you go. Nest Balls work better on weaker Pokemon than the one that you're using. So if you're over leveled and trying to snag some Pokemon, this is the one for you. Timer Balls. Timer Balls are interesting. I'm gonna buy a few of these. And Timer Balls works that way. It gains power in battles by taking turns. I think for every 10 turns, it increases by one or something like that. So yeah, Timer Balls are for those long, grindy Pokemon battles that you're just trying to catch the damn thing. And then bam, Timer Ball. And it hopefully will work. It doesn't always work, at least not with me, but. So, so but there you go. Uh, yeah, let's buy some m more Ultra Balls. I can use some more. Uh, let's buy eight of them. Spend over 9,000! It's over 9,000! Pokey dollars in order to buy them. Uh, let's sell some things that we don't need. Uh, we do not need... We don't need, uh... Let's see. Uh, balls, TMs, berries. All right, well, there's not really anything I can sell for now. I might sell my stat increasing items, but I'm not too sure. Hi, we've been traveling around the ore region. We've been jogging the whole time. Why don't you come around with us? Nope, I'm way too fat and out of shape for that one. Suck to you. When we ran to Eklo Canyon, we found a building was that was Team Snagum's hideout. I heard they broke up long ago, but I got the feeling that there were people out there. Maybe it was a ghost of Team Snagum. Ah! No. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Hey, little guy, I've seen your face somewhere before. Are you maybe a famous Pokemon trainer? Sure, I've been on TV a couple times. Huh, I can tell. Your eyes have the look of someone good. I bet your Pokemon are standing too, little guy. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. I doubt you could beat me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Is that a challenge, bro? Is that a challenge? Because I will happily do so after this email. Hey, we located Team Snagum, ironically. They're operating out of their old hideout north of the outskirts stand. We don't know the size of the group or much about their leader, Gonzap. Be careful if you're going there. Well, we don't really have much of a choice but to go there. By the way, are you searching for Team Snagum's hideout? Well, how about that? It's like a winky dink. I think Hillary just farted because it smells and it's gross and it's just like. Ugh. Well, let's Team Snagum's hideout is around here somewhere. Yes, sir, it is. I passed it while fleeing from Cypher's key lair. It's in a desolate spot. Alright, so now we can go ahead and... Yo, wait up! Hey, my name's Willy. Little Willy. Free Willy. Penis. I remember who you are now, kid. You're the kid who sent Cypher packing at Finnick, aren't you? You were on TV! Hey, listen. Let's have a battle. You and me. Hell yeah! Yeah, hell, that's the spirit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Matthew McConaughey. I'm gonna refer to you as Matthew McConaughey from now on. Over here, this way. Yeah, I'm burning now, I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom, let's roll. All right, Ryder Willie, Matthew McConaughey would like to battle. All right, so in case of you don't remember this guy, you probably remember him now. That's right. This is the very first guy that you got to fight with uh, with your guy, and it's the Zigzagoons. And you even get the same battle music, too. That's a nice little throwback, though, to the game there. And they're a little bit more powerful. Actually, they're kind of the same level as the uh, Pokemon that you had before with your Espeon and Umbreon, because they started at, like, level 20-something. So yeah, this is really nice. And I already knew about this, so I'm just acting like this is new. But yeah, this is really cool. It's pretty sweet. 
you know, you get to battle some zigzagoons. Probably kick some butt again. And you get to listen to some sweet music. Sweet. Well, it's not sexy music. It's not mere B level of music. But it's still pretty cool. Got a cool guitar, lead guitar, and all the stuff, and a pen missile. Fire! Oh, wow, that was. I don't know what the hell that was, my boys. Like, fire! Fire the pin missiles! I need a drink. Lord knows I need it. Ah, tasty. Alright, Drosnado. Use that crunch ties, me, Captain, and then use the side beam on the zigzagoon. Crunch. Crunch ties, me, Captain. And he's dead. Level 27 Dreidel. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know what that was. But at any rate, we have Linoon. Alright. Is it pronounced Linoon or Linoon? I, I, I don't get it. I think it's Linoon. Because, you know, we got Zigzagoon, so Linoon. You know, that, that, that makes sense. The joke on the name. Anyway, so Linoon. Well, I always call it Linoon now. It's either Linoon or Linoon. Or Linoon. Linoon. I'm, I'm not sure. I would need to figure out how to pronounce that. But at any rate, we have more side beaming and more headbutting, I guess. Headbutt. Oh no! Jaws just got one shotted. Ah, uh, that's the annoying thing about Jaws is that he gets one-shotted so easily. It drives me up the wall. It's like, headbite. Nope. <laughs> Dead. It's so squishy. Yeah, whereas Dosun just, just sits there and is like, yeah, I'll take that. He's so squishy, though. It's a nope. Alright, Linone barely took any damage from that. That's kind of... Frightening, actually. Yeah, I get that leftovers. Alright, use your brick break on that Linone that doesn't have any damage. And then use Ancient Power, I guess, on the one that does have damage. Stop headbutting! This is getting old. You gotta try to power flinch? Is that is that your strategy? Power flinching? That's a thing, but it's also dickish. Alright, well, Dosen's killing somebody. There we go. Get that Lanone. Get him out of there. Get that level 28 Dosun. There you go. Can I get a new move? No. Okay. Dosun, use the Brick Break. And if I survive, use Ancient Power. Or if I don't go first, then I'm gonna die. GG the dreidel. Dreidel, 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 dead. Next, we have Hellhound. 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 Brick break to the face. Ba-bam. Ba-bye. bam ba and Alabam. Thank you, bam. And Ryder Willie was defeated. Admittedly, with a little bit more trouble than I thought. Okay, hand of the loss. I still need seasoning. That you do, but we got some money for winning. Not that much money, but money nonetheless. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough, kid. You stumps good. So long as you're around, or it's future safe. Just like Thomas the Terrorist before you. Alright, guys. So... Next time, we're gonna go ahead... And take care of some business. We're gonna get a Shadow Togepi, and we're gonna go to Team Snagum's Hideout in order to get our Snag Machine back. How I got my Snag Machine back to Electric Boogaloo next time on Pokemon XD Yellow Darkness. Thank you all for watching. So long, and God bless.